Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today in Playwright Selectors, we are going to talk about that how to select the elements which is available inside the Shadow DOM. So far what we have seen, we have seen the text selector, we have seen frame selectors. And then now today we will see that how to select the element inside the Shadow DOM. So I'll do one thing, I'll just cut it from here and then I'll put it here. This is the third thing that we are going to talk about today. So Shadow DOM first I'll show you manually that uh, what do you mean by this. So for example, let's say you go to inspect and I want to enter some value here. For example, in this particular text field that I want to enter uh, testing here. Looks very simple. You can see input ID is available and then you can simply use the ID and then dot fill you can use that. But no, that is not that is straightforward. If you uh, see this here, there is one shadow root is available. And when you open this shadow root under this shadow root, this input field is available, right? I want to capture the text of this particular element, the search the world's most comprehensive index, something like this, which is available with the div. And I want to capture the text of this div. This is again a shadow DOM. You can see shadow root open. Make sure that you have to check shadow root is open. If the shadow root is closed, you cannot automate those things. You cannot automate those use cases, which is having the element with shadow root close. So how to automate that? That is the first example. Second example, you can go to selectorshub.com and you have to enter. For example, let's see, you want to enter something over here. Do you love tea or not? So this is also very straightforward. It's clearly visible that type equal to text and ID equal to T. You can use that. Okay, fine. I can use ID and then dot fill. I can use that. No, that is not straightforward in this case, guys, because if you see that this is also again available inside one shadow root here, right? So you have to pierce into shadow root. So the scenario is like that. Whenever you go to the any page, so when you launch the page, you will see the page DOM inside the main page DOM, you will see the shadow DOM. Okay, I'm talking about this is the shadow DOM and under this particular shadow DOM, you have some elements. So you have to go to the page DOM to the shadow DOM. There are some elements which are directly available inside the DOM. We don't have any problem with that. So like this also we can have it. Then there is another concept. You go to the page DOM and then you go to the iframe also. And inside that iframe one shadow DOM is available. That is also possible in some applications, right? If you stuck get stuck in these kind of situations that how will you handle the scenario with the playwright. So with playwright, it's very straightforward. Uh, you don't need to write any complex JS selectors or any query selectors, just like we used to have it in Selenium. You can just simply write uh, directly. You can pierce into the shadow DOM. You can directly jump inside the shadow DOM internally. It will be handled by playwright automatically. And then whatever the element that you are looking for, you can go with that. Okay, so let's see first this example and then we will see take this example as well. So I'll just do one thing from the browser dot. I'll just try to open a new page. Take the page reference so that we can uh, navigate the URL page page is equal to this. And then the page dot and uh, navigate whatever the URL is there. So let's take this URL first. Now after that, what exactly I want, let's say I want to enter something here. So I'm going to inspect this guy once again. Here you can see this is ID equal to input. So I can create the quick CSS selector for this, but I'll check who is the parent shadow root element of this. So I can go there. Yeah, this is also there. I can go from here as well. And then I can go from here as well. And then I can see this is the book app app title equal to books is also available. And this is the main HTML DOM. So I'll do one thing. This is the main HTML DOM. I can directly go to this particular shadow root. So I can see this quickly create a CSS selector over here like this. So I'll do one thing. This is my page dot locator. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to write is that this is the shadow root, whatever the tag name that you are using it. And then I'm going to use its property where app title is equal to books. So this is the app title is equal to books. Okay, so this is the parent shadow root element. And under this particular shadow root element, I directly jump and pierce directly into this input ID equal to input. So for ID in CSS selector, we use hash. So I'll simply say that, yeah, okay, this is the input and uh, whatever the ID is available input. that's it. And then you just need to fill this, whatever the value that you want to enter. So let's see, I'm going to enter uh, testing books here. So what will happen in this particular 
text feed the testing books will be entered okay if you want to use any other property class property also you can use that although there is no class so id is directly available so i can use hash id otherwise dot class also you can use that okay so let's see this is actually uh, working or not you don't need to write any query selector no shadow root hierarchy you have to maintain nothing just simple go to the specific shadow root and then see this so fast testing books got entered perfect this is absolutely working fine now i'll do one thing i just want to capture the text of the search this particular text also i'm going to inspect this guy once again and here you can see this is a div and a class is equal to this so what i can do i can just directly again write this page dot locator once again and from here i'll do one thing that uh, from here you just give me what dot and this is the class name so copy this particular class name and that's it so under this particular shadow root we have one element where the dot class name if it is id you have to use hash id and then i don't want to use fill here i want to capture its text content and then store inside the a text some value like this and then try to print it on the console that is system dot out print and text so let's see this is working or not so run as a java application okay so first it will enter uh, testing and then see awesome it's getting printed on the console search the world's most comprehensive index of full textbooks exactly same things okay text is written over here as well okay so remember this thing we here in the uh playwright we don't need to write any complex uh query selector or something like this earlier what we used to have that we used to have right click on it and then go to copy and copy js path and then use javascript executor in selenium here we don't need to use all those things now let's take this example as well that is where we have to create one uh, shadow root once again and then coming over here and here you can see this is the a text field is available where id equal to t but this is again available under this shadow root element and this shadow root element is actually available inside one iframe it means we have uh, see just keep scrolling up and there you will see one iframe here so this entire section is actually this entire section is available inside the iframe iframe is available inside the page dom so that's why the second example page dom go to iframe under iframe you have one shadow dom and then you have to interact with that element so how will you do this so i'll do one thing let me just comment it out uh this one this example this is the first example then i'm going to use the second example so i'll go check page dot navigate to and then i'm going to create the same thing page dot frame locator we have to use that in the last chapter we have already seen that right so you have to go to the specific frame locator so what is the frame locator in this case the frame locator is uh, here you can see id equal to packed so you can just simple say this is hash packed you can use that and then from there you have to go to that locator that is the shadow root element directly okay so what is the shadow root element in this case so in this case i'll just keep scrolling down and then or i can just directly inspect this guy once again this is input and then i'll just slightly go up and check that yeah this is the shadow root which is starting from here this is the root of the shadow root id equal to snack time perfect so see this this is what a div also so i'll just say that there is one parent shadow root div snack time and then go to its child so what is the child of div id the child of this id is this one input id equal to t so there is one id t is available you can directly write hash t also or input hash t also you can use that if you really want to use class you have to use dot class and then i'm going to enter fill and then i'll say i like uh, ginger tea right click on it run as java application and uh, it's very fast as compared to selenium with respect to shadow root once a page is fully loaded and here you can see ginger masala tea got entered here perfect this is also absolutely working fine here if you see the same code with selenium see i'll show you the selenium code as well so in selenium we used to write let's see this is the shadow root element here this is a selenium and in selenium first we have to create a doc, doc, document dot query selector then go to the shadow root and then go to its specific query selector and then go to input and then you have to enter navin or any book that you want to enter that so you have to use javascript executor 
and then js.execute a script you have to write it and then this is the query selector you have to prepare it first but here in the playwright you don't need to do all such things you can directly use it directly over here like that okay just go to the page page to the shadow root shadow root to the specific element that's it so this shadow root element will behave like a normal element with playwright playwright will consider with the normal element only okay so that's all about the shadow root if you stuck over here just simply use it with the playwright very straightforward like that that's all for this video guys thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all